Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the GU and GJ analysis session. Uh, this is Mihai from pipsandtips.com. All right, any preference, guys, um, GU or GJ? We'll be looking at these two pairs today. As always, uh, drawing a big picture first, looking at the weekly, uh, daily, and four-hour. Possibly identify swing trade um, opportunities, and then um, we'll be looking at the smaller charts. We'll be looking at the rainbow charts to to look for intraday um, trading scenarios. All right, if there's no preference, I'll start with GU. All right, let's have a look um, starting from the weekly chart. Let's see where we have uh, the main levels on this uh, time frame. All right. Just drawing right now the longer term uh, support resistance levels. Possible trend lines. Dollar Joe, we're not looking at Euro Dollar uh, in this session. It's dedicated uh, exclusively to uh, GU and GJ. But in um, in the Pips and Tips trading room, you can um, you can see analysis for other pairs as well. No worries. All right, guys. As we mentioned a few weeks back, when this trend line broke, um, this confirmed for me uh, a new wave formation to the upside, and whether this is a a push through towards uh, 172 or um, just a retracement, well, it remains to be seen. But one thing that now becomes uh, clear after last week's uh, candle, as you can see here, we have an immediate level of resistance around 160, a psychological level. And also we have the top of the move at 161, also 100 bits above this psychological level, just enough to clear uh, stops not only very small stops, but bigger ones as well, above 160. And since then, we've been moving rather to the downside. The weekly candle is a bearish candle. Okay, we opened at uh, 5980. We're now at uh, uh, 5790, and we even touched uh, 5651. So we can say the price action during this week was um, rather uh, bearish. What I'm trying to... Um, to analyze is within this area here, okay? Now, what I can say for sure, uh, wave-wise, um, looking at this chart is this wave here was a retracement from the previous up move, the one that broke the trend line, and the wave right after it was also bigger than this correction. So, there isn't any possibility that this wave would be an impulse in itself. We're looking at a corrective uh, move. That's why I have um, preference for an impulsive move on this formation currently active. So my first wave will start here at this point on the da on the daily chart, and we'll see where we could go. I think we're looking at a bullish wave and a big formation. That's a long-term uh, view. Is something like this. All right, but this doesn't mean necessarily we're going up immediately. What we saw, and this is uh, an important issue. Uh, it was important for me on Monday when I checked the chart. One sixty gave a bounce. We pushed through 160 all the way up to 161, but price closed below 160 and the resistance uh, held. That means some pullback is to be expected. Now, I think our job is to identify how um, deep can this pullback go. And if we are already over, we are ready to, uh, to move up again. Now, longer term, you can see on this daily chart, all right, we are into, into this move, um, this up move started uh, down here at um, 142. The trend line goes, uh, let me uh, zoom out. The trend line on the entire formation looks like this. And uh, well, it's interesting how we bounced there yesterday. Okay, so this is a big trend line on the weekly chart. Uh, I have to find a different color for it because it corresponds to a wave, to the big wave 
from which these uh, pink waves are just uh, parts, okay? And we didn't break this trend line yesterday. Even if we spike below it, it doesn't mean anything um, according to my wave. It's just saying that we are pulling back. And more importantly for our short-term trading is to see whether this wave here um, gave a retracement, and that's uh, indeed uh, confirmed. We did have two days ago a break of the trend line right here, the smaller trend line. All right? So the longer-term uh, analysis uh, stops here. I'm just saying that we are in a bullish trend. There should be opportunities to buy first at the supporting trend line, and that's exactly where price bounced yesterday, uh, 156.70 uh, uh, around there, 157, right around here. There was a support resistance area as well at the same level. I'll mark this as a daily uh, level of support. And we seem to have bounced from there, but I'm not sure if this is going to, to last uh, or we are continuing. But now that we are approaching the shorter term analysis, we have to look at the waves inside this pink move. Let me uh, go back to the weekly just to move it a little bit. I'll move it like this. And back to the daily. So what we have here is a first push. An impulsive move up, which according to the trend line break is over. This is our active wave as we speak. We have a bearish active wave. After that, we're expecting upside again. As soon as price crosses towards uh, 159.71.60, the market will become, according to my charts, strongly bullish. And the break of a serious break of 160 and the rally towards 172 will become imminent, but not before this level of 160 is being uh, hit again. All right, so watch for this level uh, for midterm trading. Well, if you are more aggressive, you can start building up uh, long positions even on the retracement. You just measure the retracement, and around 61.8 uh, you can enter. We only hit 50% so far. And on the 4-hour chart, we'll see if this is uh, turning into a, an ABC correction. Well, this looks like a first move. This looks like a correction. And I think we might have another spike down. That's at least what my analysis is suggesting. So what I'm going to do is put this red wave at the most uh, probable target for now. I still have a bearish outlook for GU for today. Uh, I'm going to look at the indicators as well. The um, indicators look slightly bullish right now on the 4-hour. I think we should see um, 156. Uh, maybe not uh, by the end of the day, but possibly uh, by tomorrow. Okay, we are still into this red wave. This is uh, our current active wave. All right, so this will be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, not so easily identifiable here on this 4-hour chart, but I think the one hour and the 30 minutes will show it um, better. Then we have a retracement, which is something like 38.2, I think, up to 50, 50%. Okay, we retraced quite a lot. And now I'm expecting downside again. Let's d see what are the levels to confirm uh, this um, pattern and the level to uh, break it. Basically, right now, after this pullback, I don't think... GU should cross and stay above 158.65. Okay, this is a four-hour level, and it's where longs um, start to uh, lose their uh, strength. So this would be a stop sign for any short that you might have in short term. All right, we would be looking for a bearish pattern from the top into a retracement and bottoming somewhere here. So this is basically the pattern I'm uh, looking for in the next um, sessions. All right, finally we're looking at the indicators. The indicators were strongly uh, bearish since the beginning of the drop. Okay, we had some nice trades uh, on Monday and Tuesday uh, on GU shorts. Um, 
the rate of change right now is turning bearish, so that's um, also indicating that in, in a very short term right now, we have some pressure on this uh, move. And, well, the Trix and the MACD have a weird shape because they had a lot to recover here since the last bearish uh, signal. Uh, the bearish signal that might come again could be late. So I suggest uh, you look at the fastest um, indicator, the rate of change for confirmation that we are indeed going down. If the rate of change makes a turn and turns bullish, okay, and the orientation, the opening, the angle of the of the curves is going to be positive with MACD and uh, Trix starting to look um, to look up, then uh, probably um, I will um, consider that the extension of this uh, retracement could go up to 159. What characteristics does GU have? Is it a trending pair? Nathan, well, <laughs> the opinions uh, differ on, on this. I find GU to be, uh, in general, a good trending pair. Yes. Um, I wouldn't say the same for, uh, let's say, uh, Euro-Yen, which I find uh, to be more interesting if you analyze it on um, mainly on support resistance um, levels and really use a lot of horizontal levels because it likes uh, doing a lot of double top, uh, double or uh, triple top or bottom uh, reversals or retracements. But uh, GU in general does not have the same behavior. So to answer your question, I would say yes, it is it is a trending pair. Well, <laughs> now if you compare it with others, but recently uh, price action has been quite a wild. So um, we don't really know what uh, what trend to look at. Uh, the trends are not um, on all time frames the same. Now I'm looking at this indicator that I have here. This um, trend meter is telling me how uh, the picture looks looks how the trend is, uh, well, there are many ways of defining a trend, but one way uh, that I'm using here is, if, is um, showing that, for instance, we are bull on 1 minute and 5 minutes, 15 minutes is bearish, then we have a mixed bearish situation on 30 minutes and 1 hour, uh, we have a bearish 4 hour and a bullish, uh, slightly bullish uh, daily chart, that's, uh, the, that's really a, a big, big mix uh, bag of... Uh, uh, indications quite confusing. My uh, trend meter indicator is saying bearish right now, so the the short uh, do uh, prevail and 50% is a good uh, steady um, indication. When it drops below 30 uh, or even 35, that's when it it loses its its uh, strength. But it will not give a bullish signal probably until 58.50, um, 58.70. 58, uh, Consolidation. One can get burned down trading consolidation. That's for sure, Nathan. <laughs> this is a proprietary indicator. I developed it uh, with a friend of mine, and it's it's showing at a at a glance um, what's the the strength of the market at this moment for uh, intraday trading, not for long term, but for intraday trading. So it changes quite uh, quickly. You see, already it's moved to 43 percent instead of uh, 50 now means there's some uh, bullish uh, pressure in the uh, short term. And uh, I gather information from uh, the daily chart down to five minutes, and there's specific uh, weight uh, assigned to each time frame, to each uh, crossover, to each um, alignment, and uh, they are all um, blended into this uh, average. And, uh, well, it's, uh, it's a really nice um, indication when you start your day and look at... at um, at the chart, you see which one is um, with the strongest uh, bias, and you look at that first. I'm not using it for trading, for entering and exiting directly, but it's uh, quite a useful tool. All right, now let's uh, go towards the smaller charts. All right, something uh, interesting happening here. On the one hour, you can see the five waves down. Okay, a small retracement on wave uh, four. Wave 5 bottoming here, and uh, the strong uh, wave 3, all right? And then we have this um, retracement pattern. So far, it's all in the um, in the book. Um, it looks just like uh, in the book, 
And even here, and this is the way we're interested in, this is what we're trading, we're not trading in the past. Okay, we have the first push down. Okay, quite uh, deep, about uh, 61.8 retracement. A, a move up and notice the spike. Okay, notice this spike. We'll uh, look at it um, on a 15 minutes chart and you will see uh, what I'm talking about. And I think the confirmation for the short will come right at the bottom right now to short immediately is a little bit aggressive I'm not saying it's bad I'm just saying that it's a bit aggressive to short uh, right here I, I already shorted at 5805 uh, so I'm already short from there I'm planning to add to them uh, stops come in uh, starting 5840 5845 now to I to point out the logic of this I'm looking at the big picture first Okay, then I'm looking at the smaller charts, I'm looking at the rainbow, and I draw the conclusion. Um, I think better I look at all the charts, and then um, we come back and uh, review everything and draw the conclusion. All right? Yes, Nathan, that's a good uh, question. Now, to identify the target for this drop, okay, you have to measure... Well, first of all, I'm looking at the, at the black uh, wave that I already uh, drew before. This is coming from a larger chart, and I see that the retracement I'm expecting should go somewhere towards the 61.8, around 156, and uh, psychologically, I think 155.85, 155.90. I would say 155.90 as a target for this uh, for this move. So I'll mark it with orange, which means uh, trading level. The confirmation and another entry, in case you don't want to be aggressive to short around there, around here I mean, uh, at the pullback, this is one way of, of uh, trading this, but there's another way, a safer one. Of course, your entry will not be as good uh, if the market uh, drops right now. Of course, the best entry is here, but there's another way, especially since the, the other charts are um, somewhat uh, mixed, you see? Wave 1, wave 2, either you short at the top of wave 2 or somewhere close to the top and your stop will be somewhere above the 78 fib and here it is. You draw your fib and you find your, your orange level at around 55. That's my tolerance level. Uh, if the retracement on this uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 goes beyond the 78 fib, I am ready to accept a touch of 78. Um, many times I'm just moving the stop up to 100% and allow the spike to go. And if it goes down and closes below the 78, my stop will be right uh, at the spike. I don't like getting stopped out exactly on the spike. I'd rather be stopped out at 100%. If the, the price goes all the way to 100%, I know for sure I'm wrong. Because this cannot be a retracement anymore, uh, this move. It will be an impulsive... Um, a wave this will be confirmed as a retracement so probably the market is going uh, higher towards 159 159.50 okay so this is as much as the retracement can go even on a wave two and this would be the continuation now another entry because we're here to point out scenarios in the market for the next few hours is to allow the market to go up let it go see where it goes and when it pulls back towards 5840 you short around there with stop at the high and you will know what the high is when the market drops towards 59 not even 40 5950 I think should be enough just to see drops just to see uh, pressure to the downside back towards the previous low so that would give you a risk to reward let's say decent risk to reward uh, but a uh, higher probability of being right if you want to to enter well, let's say to be more flexible and uh, uh, your trade to be more versatile in, in terms of um, entries and uh, even risk to reward, you take half lot aggressively with a stop uh, which is now not so uh, so big around uh, well, it's actually 45 pips, <laughs> uh, 50 pips is quite a, a, a large stop, but the market is moving in. Um, um, a large uh, 
uh, moves right now that uh, the waves, the range of the waves uh, is pretty uh, big. So, well, 50 pips is not that much given the recent volatility. We dropped about 300 uh, since um, for the last three days. So the retracements have to match that uh, that drop. And then you add the rest of uh, of your lot uh, towards uh, 58 and 40, uh, 57, 40. At that time, you're in profit already. So your stop for the first position is probably at break even. You add and you add to a winning position. You average it nicely um, to 57, 70 or so. And you continue uh, lower towards uh, 5.625 um, 5, and eventually 5.590. Uh, 5, All right. On the other side, on the bullish side, I don't really uh, see too much. I would prefer to see 58.65 hit. And then at the pullback, uh, you could uh, start uh, buying. But in any case, for me, long uh, only start around 158.60. So not before this level where I would uh, normally have my stop. As you can see, uh, for an entry right now, around uh, 58.90, uh, I shorted at uh, 0.5, I think. Um, the risk to reward is pretty good. If you look at the yellow lines, the risk compared to the reward is really small. Wait for the retest of that Fibonacci level. Which one, uh, Nathan? Oh, the retest of 61.8 of 58.20. Well, that could come or not. Uh, no, 78, uh, Nathan, is not a, um, let's say, it's not my target. It's my tolerance uh, point. I don't want to see it uh, going up to 78 fib retracement. If it does go there, I'm ready to accept it and still stay in the trade. But it doesn't mean that I um, I see it going there necessarily. Well, uh, aggressively, it's better to short towards at least 61.8. That's the wave um, uh, setup. Because if you enter aggressively at 38.2 and your stop is beyond 78, you end up with a really large uh, risk. The whole point is to have a small position and uh, a really tight stop. Because remember, price is actually going up right now. We are on the in very short term. This wave is pointing up. So we're going against it. We're not really against the trend, but we are against the price action at this very moment. Finally, I'm looking at my rainbow um, chart. Let me move some of these previous lines. Hold on. All right. Uh, it's the same uh, wave pattern I, I indicated earlier. This is actually the development of this pattern um, towards 171. To consider the fractal FIBS ratio long on the bigger time frames and short on the shorter time frame. <laughs> that's right, Mapos. That's a good observation. Yes, it could. It could. But um, I'm trying to to respect my time uh, my time frame. That means I see it long on the weekly, right? But I'm not trading that on those time frames. I'm not. I don't have uh, stops of uh, five, six hundred pips and targets of one thousand or one thousand five. So I just want to see what's going on, just to be aware. But I'm going to respect the, the levels on the four-hour chart and below for intraday trading. Nathan, this is um, a template I use for um, determining entries and exits on all time frames. And um, I have a special entry technique on the 15-minute chart and 5-minute chart. Um, you can uh, email me if you want. I'll... Uh, leave you guys my email at the end of the session and I'll send it to you. You can even find it online. It's not mine. I'm just using it um, in my own way. And also there's a um, recorded session, the monthly webinar from uh, July. If you look uh, look it up on fx3.com, you'll find there a presentation, a uh, one hour and a half presentation about how I use the rainbow. Uh, if you're interested in this template, uh, well, you might want to have a look at it. All right, let's... Um, see what we have starting from the daily the daily we're still on a bullish rainbow okay we are um, into a consolidation here quite clearly so that's um, illustrating quite well what we uh, saw on the other chart on the clean chart okay nothing much to say or do on the daily uh, there isn't any signal or anything just consolidation from a bullish trend that's all the daily chart is saying on the rainbow 
The four hour chart is starting to get bearish and it's actually looking nice. Uh, we have a push through the bottom of the rainbow, the bullish rainbow which um, was in, uh, in effect for quite some time. A push through, then the fast moving averages go back into the, the rainbow. There's an agglomeration of moving averages here. And now I think around 57.50 if price stays below 158 for uh, I think another 8 to 12 hours at least we should see the fast moving averages, the red and the yellow um, emerging from the rainbow and giving the short signal towards uh, our target. So the 4 hour is starting to look uh, in favor of, um, of shorts. The limit for this is 158 75, which is now the top of the rainbow. That means the highest uh, um, moving average in this uh, agglomeration of, uh, I think, 100 moving averages. It's the highest, and that's where there's a barrier, which I find um, to be that well, the last barrier before the bulls take control and drive it to uh, 5980 or 160. All right, going uh, lower on the, the one-hour chart. Not yet confirmed, but waiting to um, turn into a short. Look at the 200 MA. It's the top of the rainbow is about at the same level. So 5875 could become an important level, either an important resistance or a breakout point towards 1, uh, 160. So watch for this 5875 level. All right. Oh, I think um, it's already going down a little bit. So uh, I think my shorts are, are working out now. All right, uh, let's see the 30 minutes chart. Confusing. Starting to go bearish again, but consolidation on this 30 minutes, uh, price is going back into the rainbow. The 200 MA is still um, giving some resistance on this chart. And finally, 15 minutes and 5 minutes, I'm taking my entries from this um, these time frames. Push towards the top of the rainbow. That's where I took the trade, aggressively shorting the top of the rainbow. By the way, I think it's time for me to move my stop to 5825 uh, for a minimum risk on this uh, short or 5815. I'll just allow another uh, 15, uh, 20 minutes to see what's happening. But I like the fact that uh, price is getting out of the rainbow. That's what I want to see. I want to see the fast moving averages, the red and the yellow, starting to align below the 200 and the rainbow descending into a downtrend. The rainbow in general, guys, is defining pretty well the trend on that time frame. For instance, here, if you see aligned MAs, all the MAs in, the, in their correct order, that means there's no uh, consolidation on that time frame. There's no um, serious spiking or uh, pullbacks. So everything is just in a nice flow. This is what you want to see. This is where you want to be. And of course, you want to be in from the very beginning, so you would uh, hide your stop right uh, behind the top of the rainbow, so that retracement would uh, go up to your stop, but not hit your stop. The guppy profile, I'm not sure I know what you're talking about, Oshawa. Oh, this one. This uh, rainbow belongs to someone called guppy. I didn't know that. Uh, no, I'm just entering according to this. I'm analyzing um, on, um, well, classical uh, technical analysis like support resistance, trend lines, Elliott waves, and uh, finding my entry around uh, here. So, oh, that's good. I'll uh, check that out. I think um, you, have, you can have many ways of trading this. It's a very, very nice template, and I think the, the guy who invented it deserves some uh, congratulations. It's a very, very good, nice idea. Nathan, I think you should consult um, the session recorded on FX Street uh, because that's where I present it uh, um, in detail. Right now, this is a, an analysis session, so I don't want to take too much time um, explaining that. If you have trouble uh, finding it, just email me, uh, and uh, I'll be happy to send you the link. Or uh, just ask uh, Vicky if she's around. Uh, she can give you the uh, the link. Uh, to answer your question, uh, Nathan, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Rupert, would it be too late to enter now? No, not really, not really. But right now, you would have uh, 
The entry would be short at 5.775, stop at 5.815. To be honest, Rupert, I don't think it's late. I think it's early. Either you enter at the top of the rainbow and you, you put a, a small stop to your uh, entry, or you really wait for the alignment to happen. So I would say either you're too late or you're too early. But if it goes back towards 58.15, 58.25, I'd rather drop the whole thing, uh, the whole idea of um, shorting and wait. Because if the, thir if the 15 minutes short uh, breaks this rainbow and goes up towards 5.830, 5.840, that would not uh, support shorts anymore. So regardless of the analysis, that wouldn't give you a, a go-ahead, um, an entry. All right? Um, this this approach, this um, template, gives you different signals than the analysis, and I like that because I want to check myself against my analysis and uh, see two different point, points of view. Uh, the Let's say the more um, objective view of the rainbow, which tells you exactly what's happening right now, but I don't think this have pre has predictive uh, values. It's just moving averages. They're all lagging anyway. So it's just telling you what's happening right now, but I don't think you should use it to predict uh, price action. Or um, use the Elliott waves, which are predictive uh, by nature, but, well, <laughs> the chance of being wrong, of course, is there. And uh, it's a sort of an art, a sort of a um, games of, uh, it's, it's a game of probabilities b between those scenarios. Uh, very aggressive price action. Uh, right now, you see, it was at 80. Now it's at 68. Uh, I am. Um, I'll move my stop to break even now. A five eight zero five is enough. There's no point in risking more in this trade. Um, if things start to get wild and we drop uh, aggressively, I want to be in the trade. But if uh, it goes against me, I don't think I want to face uh, the music because this price action can really take us anywhere. And uh, well, it's a little bit uh, scary how the, the charts uh, move uh, these days since uh, two days ago. If you're on the right track and if you're in profit, then uh, it's nice to sit back and relax and watch the charts. But if it's going against you, it's not uh, it's not funny. All right, guys, uh, let's review um, GU quickly so we have time for uh, GJ. I don't have much time from the session, about 10, 15 minutes maximum. So looking back at the analysis uh, chart, okay, daily, I think uh, those of you trading midterm, will want to wait for approximately 5590 to initiate longs. I'm talking uh, um, mid-term, long-term positions towards 5590 with large stops of 200, 300 pips. I think so, uh, Bola. <laughs> Oshawa, uh, for uh, analyzing, all the time frames are the same, but I use uh, 15 minutes and 5 minutes for entry because I like uh, hiding my stop behind um, the cluster of moving averages. If you check out the recording, I think uh, that will give you an idea about what um, how I'm usually trading it. So um, mid-term and long-term, we stay with the bullish outlook, and the entries should uh, start um, emerging towards 5.6, 156. Even down at the 78, but again, not beyond the 78 pips. So a spike towards 50, 54.80 would be the bottom of this scenario. Any move beyond 154 would invalidate the mid-term, uh, longer-term uh, bullish scenario and could uh, see double top and um, a drop uh, much uh, <coughs> lower than uh, uh, 150, maybe even 147, 145. Now this is just a mid-term position. It's very hard to confirm it in a in a few days. It will take time. It will take uh, probably weeks to uh, confirm uh, either uh, scenario. For longs, this is what uh, this is my conclusion here. Aggressive entries towards 5590, more conservative and confirmed entries towards 160. If you can combine both, that's just uh, the best. For shorting, uh, longer term. I don't see that happening because, well, we are in a bullish um, wave overall uh, on this daily chart. And, uh, well, you would be um, against the wind um, 
with uh, shorts. If you do want to short, though, I think uh, approaching smaller charts would be uh, better. And uh, you are right now on this um, red wave down, so you could uh, try to speculate here short with smaller targets, though. Not uh, more than, uh, let's say, 5590 as a final target. That's still about 200 pips, so for midterm, it's, uh, it's pretty good. And as I said before, confirmations come. Uh, either you short uh, aggressively at uh, a retracement level, like 61.8, the way I did earlier this morning at 5805. The advantage is very good um, entry, and you get in profit immediately if you are right. The disadvantage is you're going against the, the price action at the time. Or you short towards 5740, 5745. That's going to be uh, um, riskier in terms of stops. Your stop will be bigger. And uh, you might uh, take some uh, negative as well as uh, the market could retrace here from this bottom. But I think uh, you have a higher probability of uh, seeing a break of uh, 5730. Yes, that's right, Oshawa. I have a long-term uh, long bias for cable, according to what the market is uh, telling me right now. And finally, for short term, well, we are uh, we are consolidating here, and uh, again, it seems to be a, a weird uh, London session. Look at yesterday's price action. So um, it was uh, starting to go down, and then consolidated, consolidated before uh, shooting up. Um, be cautious about this, and uh, that's what I was uh, suggesting earlier. Um, if you are not already in, uh, maybe wait for the 58.40, 58.50 to to confirm you into the shorts. Uh, it will give you a larger stop trade, but I think you'll be uh, much uh, better confirmed. Otherwise, simply wait for one of the scenarios to um, to be confirmed. Otherwise. Well, it's a bit of a guessing game here. We're right in between. Uh, we're right in between this. Um, you see, at the in, in the middle of the range from this wave, in the middle of the range of this wave here. So we're not. Um, the market does not um, go in any uh, direction seriously at this time. All right, I'm almost out of time here. Any questions for GU? It takes quite a while to analyze the pair uh, with. Uh, all these uh, different aspects. I'll switch to GJ at least to give you a um, shorter term uh, outlook. Well, I think it's pretty clear what the trend is on the daily and uh, even on the four hour chart. There's not much um, doubt about that. We hit uh, 12750 sticks on this candle today. We are at a level of support as indicated by these uh, longer term charts. So 12785 was support for a long time. Here you go. Here, and then again, double bottom again, double bottom here, and some uh, testing uh, on the current wave. So eventually, I think uh, cable will uh, start the retracing, probably going towards this uh, higher level of uh, uh, support now turning into resistance. That's what it did um, even today, you see. It spiked to uh, this 12860 and now it's back towards the 12780. Anyway, don't trust this uh, breakout, this weekly uh, breakout towards the previous low at 116 unless you see daily close and uh, serious price action. And uh, I would suggest also not to take the first breakout because GJ likes the um, uh, giving a false uh, breakout first and only then uh, making the the real move. So uh, don't jump on the first drop below um, 127.20, 127.30. That might not be the the real move. Uh, for our chart, well, the indicators look um, balanced and uh, almost flat. So not too much on the indicators. Um, the rate of change is trying to go down. So um, we have a uh, bearish pressure at this time um, on the four hour chart. My indicator is saying 100% bearish. Everything is bearish on GJ. Everything starting from the daily chart down to one minute. Uh, all the factors I weigh to this indicator are uh, pointing down. So uh, 
in general, uh, buying the yen, I think, is a good uh, strategy. I'm also a short uh, GJ guys, by the way. My targets are um, intraday 1 to 7.45, 1 to 7.50, around there. I'm looking for a spike followed by another uh, round of noise, maybe another spike up. Uh, I don't think I want to be into all that. I just want to take my profit when uh, it starts going down now, and if it doesn't, uh, start to uh, cover the risk for the positions and uh, move stops to break even as soon as I can. Uh, if things work out fine, if not, uh, I, I don't want to uh, to risk much. I'd rather um, stop everything at break even and um, and call it a day. All right. So let's see. One hour. The same pattern and uh, once again have a look at uh, how support resistance levels are respected on the yen pairs. Support level turning into resistance, and again, and again, and again with a very big spike, which closes precisely at the resistance. So um, never trade uh, the yen pairs without um, a serious analysis of the horizontal level. And right now what I see here is another horizontal level. What a surprise, right? Previous level of support at 127.60, that's where it stopped, and gave us a nice pullback with a very large spike. So, of course, the bias uh, can only be bearish for me right now, and I'm thinking of a similar wave pattern as the one I was uh, indicating on um, GU. Maybe another attempt up here, but still uh, I see it uh, at least spiking towards 127 uh, by the end of the week. And this could be a very fast move, guys. Uh, my advice would be if you are, uh, if you like the setup to go in rather early so you can afford to move stops at break even and just simply wait and see in case uh, things go your way. So you won't have to enter around 127.50. That's going to be very risky. You could have 50 pips against you in a matter of seconds. This is a very important level of support, uh, one that lasted for, um, weeks and months, so there, are, there is um, a serious uh, defending of this level. There, there's going to be a lot of opposition here. So um, you don't want to go in uh, something like this with, uh, you know, with a small gun. Uh, there are uh, guys with cannons here, so <laughs> uh, make sure you, you are properly equipped for um, trading breakout if this is what you're after. Or if not, just, well, maybe time your entry a bit higher so you can... Uh, so you can um, afford to move stop at break even and just simply wait and see and if things don't work out, not to lose money. Finally, 15 minutes. You see a bounce off the central pivot, which I think is a good um, addition to our uh, setup. And the retracement now, I bet, stopped right at the 78 fib. Exactly there. 78 fib... Uh, tends to be the last frontier many times, so here you go, you, you had a spike down to uh, 1 to 7, uh, 6, 6, now we're at 7, 9. Once uh, 1 to 7, uh, 70 breaks, then we should see um, uh, GJ uh, collapsing, uh, I think quite fast, we should see very fast the price action today, if that happens. GU might follow um, the same direction, but on the other hand, it might not last for too long. Okay, so take advantage of uh, quick uh, quick moves and uh, take profits possibly on spike if you on on spikes if you can. Mm -hmm. uh, that's right, Dollar Joe. That's right. <coughs> well, I I like when I look at the chart to see things like you see right here the bounce of the central pivot. There are people trading pivots, and uh, they are quite a lot. And when I see that uh, those traders are also uh, fed what they want in terms of shorts, that's uh, one more argument in favor of what I'm looking at, even if I didn't really look at the central pivot until I reached this, the 15 minutes chart. My entry is not there. My entry was uh, 12790, so uh, I was in the negative when this uh, spike uh, happened. So I'm only uh, up about uh, to 10, uh, 15 pips right now. What charting, Rob? 
Well, uh, it's a very high cost to pay. Uh, it's free. <laughs> You're, are you referring to the um, to the rainbow template? That's not mine. I'm j- I just took it from the internet. And um, you mean? Um, well, this is just analysis that I built it I, that I built up uh, for myself. So, well, there's no cost. You just attend the session, and that's it. And for the um, for the template, uh, I found the template online. I just adjusted it, and of course, uh, I'm not I'm offering it um, for free uh, the way I use it to anyone, since um, it's not mine to to sell, of course. <laughs> All right, let's have a quick look uh, at the rainbow on the 15 minutes chart. Uh, GJ, very nice. Nathan, um, I'm thinking of offering it, um, of sharing it actually, and um, just charging you know, for all the effort. But uh, I haven't figured out a way to to test it in such a way so I would be sure that I'm offering you guys a good uh, a good tool. I'm just using it for myself now. So um, once I'm uh, 100% sure that it's really going to be useful for everyone, and uh, I can uh, release it, uh, no no problem. It is, it is. Uh, it's quite useful, but I just want to tune it uh, for the last uh, few um, details. Very, very nice setup on the rainbow here on uh, GJ. I was a little bit early into entering uh, the trade. You see how it bounced off the top of the rainbow exactly. The best tool to do analysis. Bola, what I need is um, an MT4 uh, chart and um, horizontal lines and um, trend lines, and uh, that's it. You know, the best um, indicator is the price action, and um, the best tool you you can use is your own uh, judgment. So that's why, it, well, there are um, lots of uh, Elliott Wave um, softwares in in the market, but I never use them. I don't know how they come up to that conclusion, so I like doing the analysis myself. Even though it sounds like a Stone Age uh, analysis, I, I don't mind. It's just the way I'm uh, I'm comfortable with. Oshawa, the the MAs go from very fast um, red to um, the slowest, the 200, and the 400, which I just have plotted on my chart as a as a limit. Uh, yeah, this is bolded because it's a 400 MA. It's actually the 200 MA on the uh, superior chart, one time frame higher. So I know where's the top of the rainbow on 30 minutes. If I go on 30 minutes, I know where's the top of the rainbow on one hour. And notice the spike here. So um, right now we have signals to short uh, GJ on 30 minutes, on uh, one hour starting to emerge. Uh, on four hour, well, it's been into a signal for quite some time. Um, Fifteen minutes. Um, well, this was the aggressive entry here, which I should have taken. Uh, I I went in too early, but it's all right. My stop was uh, way higher at one two four fifty five, one two eight fifty five. So there was no uh, no danger. And uh, well, I think uh, it's starting to get confirmed almost everywhere. Things are advancing pretty well right now. Um, I'm planning to take some profit as soon as it spikes below the previous uh, low. Uh, this is not uh, the time for me to get uh, too uh, greedy about this. It's working out well. I've been shorting it for about uh, 40 pips. My stop is now at break even, so uh, no no point in uh, exaggerating. Uh, it might go uh, way lower, but I'm afraid of those very, very strong reactions at the major support levels, and we are at major support levels on uh, GJ, if you look at the daily and the weekly chart. All right. Sorry, guys, not to have time to uh, analyze GJ better. If um, you want to check out this uh, daily analysis, I have a room at incentives.com. Just um, email me and um, or just subscribe to, to the newsletter. You'll receive the invitations for free whenever I have a session. And for all the trades that I take, I send notifications to to my um, subscribers. That's the signal service, which is apart from the room. But the room is completely free, so anytime you want, just uh, feel free to to drop by. No problems, donkey. Uh, I'll just leave you guys my email. Oh, hold on. I'll do it again.
if you need anything or if you want me to send you your uh, the templates or any indicator I've been using here, uh, apart from this one, which actually is not 100% mine, I'm developing it with a friend of mine, so we'll have to discuss it. Uh, let me know. As far as I can, I'll try to um, to accommodate what you need. No problems. Thanks for joining us today, guys. This session uh, this uh, session has been recorded, so um, I think uh, you'll find it on FX Street soon. Well, have a good uh, end of the week, and um, I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Thanks for your time.